Hello and welcome. Today we will have a walkthrough of the keyboard clustering and topic cluster feature of through. You will see that you can cluster keyboard at scale, create content plans super fast, analyze the top ranking pages of every cluster and as well create content brief. The workflow is seamless and integrated. So let's have a look now. So right now I'm on the dashboard of through. So to access the new feature, you can click on the cluster button here or as well, you can uh, go in the menu on the left. You will see you can create a new topic cluster or as well access all your topic clusters. So we will create now a new topic cluster. So the process to create one is quite straightforward. You have to enter a list of keywords and then through will uh, group them by search intent. So the list of keywords should be an Excel file and the first column should be uh, labeled with the term keyword and the second one with the label volume. So here you can see I pick an Excel file and the first column is keyword and then the second one is volume. The other columns will be ignored. Um, and then of course you have a list of keywords and the associated volume. If you don't have the volume, it's fine. So we'll just put zero, but it's always better to have a volume indications uh, for some statistics. So, okay, I picked this file now. Uh, so it's a, a list of keywords related to marketing, inbound marketing, marketing technology. Then I upload my keyword. And then here you can see all the keywords and you can make a quick look, uh, review them if you want to remove some stuff. For instance, sites here, I want to remove that. So you can do some cleanup before uploading them and starting the process. I remove where there is my name. So you can still do some fine tuning of your list if you didn't do that beforehand. Then of course, because it's based on search, on SERP analysis, you have to define which SERP you want to analyze. So here my market is USA, so I will keep this one, but you can change and pick any market you like. Also, what you can do is optional, but I think it's a great uh, thing to do is to track your domain or so you can track a domain of your competitor. So here you can select uh, one of your domain or add a new one. And then uh, you will get some statistics about this domain uh, inside uh, all the clusters. And then finally, when you're ready, well, I just pick a domain. And then when you're ready here, you can start clustering. So you can see here, we will start, we will cluster about uh, almost 1000 keywords and it will cost 100 credits. Then you enter a name for your uh, topic cluster and you start the process. I won't start the process right now because it will take a couple of minutes, but I have already one uh, ready. So we can see, we can go in our uh, list of topic cluster. So here I can have, here you see all your topic cluster and uh, we will click on this one. So here we go. We are in the view uh, displaying uh, the topic uh, cluster. What you can see first is like, so the number of clusters created from this uh, almost 1000 keywords, so almost 500 uh, Q cluster. And then uh, we tracked the domain hubspot.com. So here we can see that the domain, uh, is, its cluster visibility is 23%. It means that the website is visible on 110 clusters. So for 110 clusters, this website is ranking and, and uh, have an article. Also, more focused on the page. So on the page one, uh, the, the, the website is visible for 32%. So it means that for 310 steps, there is an article ranking on the page one. So already good statistic to see where you stand if you have uh, a good market share uh, inside uh, this uh, topic cluster. But of course, then the, the good stuff is, um, is to browse all the, uh, the clusters. So here you have a view where you can uh, easily uh, view all your clusters. There is a card view, there is a table view. And also I didn't mention that, but at the very top, you can also download a Excel report. I won't show that today because it's quite uh, straightforward and basic. You have an Excel report with all the topics, the related uh, keywords and more information. So I'll let you have a look at this one, but I recommend really to use the UI because it's really user-friendly and there is a lot of uh, action and there is a streamlined workflow to analyze the clusters and as well create content brief. So here now we can have a look at our clusters. So different topics, you can see already uh, organized by topics. So market, marketing landscape, marketing, te marketing technology, market, marketing stack, free marketing automation, et cetera, et cetera. So here you can, easily browse all uh, the, the topics. You can also have a table view if you prefer. So you can have a, a table view. You can also search and filter. 
so quite, what is interesting as well to see is that, for instance, the first one, so here you can see all the related keywords. So all these keywords here means are, are grouped together because they display more or less the same SERP. I won't go into detail of the algorithm or of the process, but this is how through its grouping keywords together, it analyzes SERPs, and when there is similar SERPs, it puts uh, the keywords together. So for this one, you can see as well the accumulated volume and the, the number of keywords. And there is no ranking indication, meaning that we are not ranking for this one. So for this one, we have, we have no article ranking for the term Mark, MarTech landscape. Then when you look at the second one, marketing technology, here we can see that we are ranking as a position uh, 9.7 in average, because there is 16 keywords. So on, in average, over the 16 keywords, we are ranking at the position uh, 9.7. So here we can already uh, maybe make some improvement. And also here you can see that we rank at the position 3.6. So here it's quite good. Maybe there is nothing to do. So we will we, uh, leave this one on the side. Of course, you can as well uh, display the one where you are ranking, the one when you are not ranking, and there is also filter and I let you uh, discover them. But easily you can uh, already have a good understanding of where you should focus and uh, on which uh, Yes, on which topic you should focus and where you should maybe create a new article or improve an existing article. Then another interesting feature I would like to show you is a search intent feature. So, for instance, if I take this one, marketing automation market. So obviously this, the intent behind this, uh, people looking for uh, information about the marketing automation market and so but we can also have a look at a more granular, granular view of the search intents so here we can see that there is sub intent or different level of intent within the cluster it's always like this i mean uh, there is a main intent so here uh, the main intent is marketing automation market it's our main topic as well it's a leading topic of the cluster this is the main intent but you can see that there is slightly different intent inside this cluster uh, one about marketing automation industry and one about marketing automation statistics. So here what you could do, there is two options. You either, when you create your article, you uh, take care to mention marketing automation industry and marketing automation statistics, uh, let's say in a prominent place of your article, maybe you create a dedicated paragraph speaking about that because it's a, a related search intent. Or you can also create a separate article if you see that this makes sense in your content strategy. All right, so um, now what we can do is uh, analyzing a cluster. So we will uh, select this one, marketing technology, and we will analyze the cluster. So I click on the SERP analysis action, and then uh, through it is making an analysis of the, uh, uh, how many keywords we had, like of the 16 keywords inside this cluster, right? So it's making an analysis of the 16 SERPs. So first, because we are ranking, we can see that there is some information about uh, about HubSpot.com. So our visibility is uh, 19%. So we are ranking uh, for three keywords inside this cluster. The best page is how to build a marketing automation uh, MarTech stack. And our estimated traffic volume. This is an estimation based on the volume we uh, we shared in the in the initial Excel file. And then here you can see all the keywords. And you can see where you rank when you don't where you don't rank and as well you can filter by sub intents so you can see all the different intents here and you can also maybe have a, a more granular view again where you should put your effort or where you, where what you should optimize in your article then below something great if you already are familiar with the SERP analysis tool of through you might know this view and this view so it's a cluster insight so similar to the SERP insights it's showing you uh, information about uh, the article uh, ranking on these clusters uh, average keywords uh, etc. Average number of image, uh, average number of words, and page rank, and more. So, and also then what you can see below is here a list of the top ranking pages. So here is quite interesting as well. Uh, we had in this cluster, or we have in this cluster, sixteen keywords, so sixteen SERP, and so here it's a mixed view of the six, of the sixteen SERPs. So. Uh, through is making a, a, a let's say a, a aggregation of all the 16 step and coming with a new ranking so here is displaying the top 20 pages of of the 16 SERP. so it's quite interesting for you to see uh, who are your main competitor over several keywords 
and um, you can see here for instance that uh, yeah, these are all your com your competitors you can see as well their visibility so this one for instance uh, page number one is ranking at 100 percent on the cluster so it's, it means that this page is ranking for every keyword of the cluster with average position of 2.9 the rest, if you're familiar with through, you should know that as well. The page ranks, number of words, images, and you can easily filter and sort here to figure out who are your main competitors. As well, there is a competitor tab. Uh, so here also you can see um, who is the main competitor uh, inside the cluster. And then the rest, I won't, I will go fast because this is quite, let's say, uh, standard with through, but in case you're not familiar with, uh, with this, I will still show it. So you have the most important, important topics. So here is an extraction of the most important topics found uh, inside uh, our, inside the content. So basically the, the, the keywords and the long tail used uh, inside the different articles. Here also we have uh, analysis of the outline with uh, some outline suggestion. If you want to write an article about this topic, you can also have a bird's eye view of all the con content outline. So you can easily browse all your uh, competitors' uh, article outline and see how they organize their, their, how they structure their content. Also here, super interesting. So the question tab. Uh, so remember there is 16 uh, SERPs. Um, and so for the 16 SERPs, uh, through is collecting the 16 people also ask and then putting them together and try to identify what are the most common question. And you can see that what are the six types of marketing technology appears 12 times over 16. So it's really an important question, this one. So if you want to create an article, maybe think about answering this question or maybe having this question in, in one of your heading. So really cool information. And you can see all the questions coming from the PAA of the 16 uh, SERPs here. And below, we will have also an extraction of all the most common questions found in headlines. So found on page of this uh, of these different pages ranking on, on these 16 pages or on these 16 SERPs. And also if there is question in comments, they are extracted. And if there is FAQ schema as well, it's extracted. So just with this tab, you have a huge ton of information. Related search, similar here. So also here, so we analyze the 16 SERPs, we extract the 16 uh, related search. We put them together, we group them by uh, by uh, frequency, more or less. Or, and you can see that six types of marketing technology appears 16 times as a related search. So something to take care. And you can see what is related search. And uh, again, useful when you want to create your article. And here also some information about the video found on page. So you can see what your competitors are using as video, also as images. So you can really browse, easily browse all the images uh, from all your competitors and figure out what they use and maybe get some inspiration. And as well, here you can see also what kind of outbound links they are using and what are the most popular outbound links. So here, a lot of information to create your content brief. And we will come very soon to that because the uh, workflow is, uh, as I said, streamlined. So directly from a uh, cluster, now you can create a content brief. You just have to click here and you can start creating your brief. The brief feature as well, uh, I won't detail it too much. There is a dedicated video for that, but you have different uh, elements in your content brief. These elements are here to help you create a brief, to help you structure a brief in the best way possible so you can give the right information to a writer and create the best content. So different blocks here, writer directive, where you should uh, inform your writer about what is the goal of this article, what is the search intent. Then you have again here the SERP insights, so some information about uh, yes, the main metric of, the, of, this, of this cluster, computer analysis, top titles, etc., and then you can start creating your article. So article summary, you can pick, uh, have a look at the competitor, pick the most, uh, uh, the great title and change it a bit. So, but I won't go too much in detail of this feature because there is a dedicated video for that. And you can as well build your outline here. There is a default one by, de by de there is a default one by default. And uh, then you can browse all your competitor, uh, check the outline, pick the headings you like, also identify the, all the H1, all the most frequent headings, the most frequent questions, and so on. So again, a lot of uh, nice feature for you to 
accelerate your content brief process. All right, and then when you are done, you can save and close. We will go back to the cluster view, and now we go back to the topic cluster view, so the overall view. And here you can see uh, now if we go in content brief, we have all the uh, all the content brief related to this topic cluster. So as you can see, in a few clicks, I was able to identify what topic I want to uh, target as a new article, or also where I would like to optimize an existing one. I can analyze all the competitors. I can then directly create a brief, and then of course the brief can be shared, and you can give a link to your writer, and they will start creating the article. Two other tabs that I would like to uh, highlight as well is the competitor tab. So this is also a view to show you who are the main competitor within all the clusters. So here you can see that HubSpot is really the most performing uh, website within this cluster. But then there is also other competitors. So interesting for you if you want to do a competitor analysis, you can see uh, against who you are ranking or against who you are competing for this set of keywords. And finally, a last tab that I would like to show you, it's the pages uh, tab. So here what you can see is all the pages of HubSpot ranking inside these clusters. And for each pages, you can see for which clusters they are ranking for. So for instance, here we can see that how to build a marketing technology, a MarTech stack, this one is ranking for 32 clusters. So there is 32 clusters where this page is ranking. Then you can see that free marketing automation tool is ranking only for one cluster, for the cluster free marketing automation, which makes sense. Inbound strategy uh, uh, rank for the attract, engage, and delight cluster. So here, how you can use this view. So the, a good practice is uh, say that you should create one article per cluster. It's not always true, uh, to be clear. You can have like uh, one article ranking for several clusters, it's fine. But when you have too much cluster, like here, 32 is a bit too lot, it's a bit a lot. Um, so here, maybe you can identify here some cluster where you can maybe cre create a dedicated, a dedicated article. So for instance, here I can see B2B marketing stack. Let's have a look at this cluster. So I will go back to the cluster view. I will search for B2B marketing stack. And here, you, while we, of course, we are ranking at the rank at the position 7.7. .7. It's not a good position here. So let's analyze quickly um, this uh, this cluster. So there is. We will have a look at our competitor. And what you can see already here is that the first one, ultimate tech stack for B2B SaaS, B2B tech stack, B2B, B2B, B2B. Of course, they all speak about B2B because it's uh, it's really like this cluster is focused on the B2B marketing technology stack. So here, maybe a recommendation for HubSpot would be to, I will I think they should create a different article focusing on the B2B stack. And maybe, uh, so link then the original article to the new one. So they can here then also do a great internal linking. But here my recommendation would be to create a dedicated article. So again, you can start the content brief process and and uh, yeah, create the article focus on this specific one. So all right, so I think you like this uh, this uh, little demo of the topic cluster uh, feature of through. As you can see, it's really uh, huge. I mean, there is a lot of functionality. I let you discover everything start drop keywords a list of keywords maybe you can start for the search console it's quite easy just export a list of keywords from your search console upload it to through run the process and then start to explore where you are ranking where you're not where you are not ranking analyze its cluster try to try to identify uh, what your computer are doing and then create the dedicated content brief and you see in a few clicks i was able to create a content plan and i have already like two or three ideas for the next weeks for hubspot.com so uh, hopefully you like this demo and if you have any question, don't hesitate to drop a, a question in the comment section or also come back to me. I will be really happy to help you and enjoy now using through and the keyword clustering tool.